How to create a social media post. It sounds easy, but for some people it might not be that easy. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a social media post and we're gonna use AI to create our post. That way you can focus on the idea behind the content and the creation will be done with AI. So let's get into it and let's create a social media post. All right, to create a social media post, I'm gonna go to Imagine Art, which you can find here. And on the left side, we can see our menu. When we go to studios, we can see we have photo gen here. So let's click on photo gen and we are going to use text to image to create our social media post. If you look at the screen here, you can see here some images that are created with text to image. And this is a good way to get some inspiration. So for instance, if you like one of these images, you can scroll over this image and you can see here, this is the prompt that's been used for this image. So let's say I like this image. I will just click on this one and I can copy this prompt. Now let's go back here and let's create something ourselves. So let's go to text to image and here we're gonna generate our image. Now here you can see the prompt I just copied. Let's delete that one and let's go to the settings. In the settings, we can select a model. Now when we click on these models, we can select one of these models. For this example, I'm going to use Flux Dev because that's the most advanced model yet. So let's click on Flux Dev and click on try now. Next, we have the aspects ratio and here you can select the aspect ratio. So let's say I want to create something for Facebook and the best way to find out which aspect ratio I need for Facebook, I would go to Google and I would write aspect ratio Facebook post. And then you can see here the aspect ratio for a Facebook post, video post, Facebook linked image, Facebook stories, etc. And here you can see the aspect ratio. I could also include this link to the website in the description of the video, but I'm not gonna do that because these things change over time. So I wanna make sure this video stays up to date and the best way to do that is to just go to Google and there you can see when was this posted. So that way you're always up to date with this information. So just go to Google and write that out to know for sure which one you wanna use. So let's say I wanna create the Facebook stories and also for Instagram, nine by 16 is a usual aspect ratio for this. So let's go back to Imagine Art and here you can see nine by 16. So let's pick that one. Then we have a slider to enhance our prompt. So if you don't know how to write prompts, you can click on enhance prompt. Then we have effects and in effects, I'm gonna select a style. So let's say I wanna create a product image and put select product here. You can also save these styles to your favorite with this heart and then they will appear here. So let's say I wanna create a product photo. Then we're gonna go to lighting and here we can select a lighting. I'm gonna go for studio because I wanna have some studio lighting. Let's go to camera now and in camera we can select the camera angle. I wanna have a close up shot. I'm gonna select close up shot and in advanced settings we can select how much images do we want to generate with AI. Let's do four and then we can write our prompt in the center here. If you don't know how to write prompt, you can also click on this imagine bot and this will help you with writing a prompt. So let's say I wanna generate the image of a hamburger with French fries and that prompt sounds really simple, but I wanna make sure it's a little bit more advanced. So what I would do here is I would press enter and it's gonna make a better prompt from my prompt. We have a really good prompt now and I can just copy this one and then when we go here, we can paste this here. The next step is to click on generate and it's gonna generate four images. And that's everything we need to do. And then you just have to wait until this is done. And if you don't like the results, you can generate it again or you can change the prompt. It's really that easy. So let's look at the results. These are the images it generated and look how tasty that looks. And that's everything you have to do. It's that super simple. So once I have these images, I'm happy with one of them. Let's say I would like to use this one. I can just click on this to download this image and it's done. There's also image editor in the tool where you can add, for instance, text to an image. Check the link in the description of the video to try it out yourself and see how easy it actually is. Thanks for watching and catch you on the next one.